All right, good to get your views. There's a full board of people wanting to have a go, so I will move on to Gerald in Caulfield. Morning, Gerald. Good morning. How are you? Very well. Uh, just wanted to say that John, not John Fain, the other John, has got his head buried in the sand like most politicians have. In terms of, I'll give you a little demonstration. Um, I'm a scientist with the CSIR. I'm not going to say where I work, obviously, because I don't want to jeopardise my job. But I put a uh, butterfly in a uh, little container. Yep. I sucked out 40% of the uh, oxygen out of it, and it lasted probably eight hours before it died. Yeah. Now, I would like to see John put his money where his mouth is, because it's a very big one, and it's obviously a very big head, so he needs a, a very big hole. Keep it nice. It Keep it nice, Gerald. But uh, what I'm trying to say is, if you put John in a room and took out 40% of the air, he would be just about... Dead. What's that got to do with whether or not sea levels are rising? Gerald, I'm really worried that you're work, working at the CSIRO, mate. <laughs> you don't have to worry about the 2% or anything like that. Yeah. What you have to worry about is all this other stuff that's going on where we're using fossil fuels, we're using cars, we're using all this uh, energy up yeah. in the atmosphere and it's not getting replaced. The Amazon's going and all the rest of it. We all know all that, but... John is seriously uh, putting the planet at risk and putting people's lives at risk by not doing anything. All right, Gerald, good to get I'm, your views. I really wish you hadn't said you worked at the CSIRO. <laughs> because? Um, uh, because oxygen in a jar which contains a butterfly has got nothing to do with what we're talking about. All right, so well, as I it that stands... butterfly gave its life for a... A worthy project. As it stands, uh, <laughs> you didn't answer my question about whether there will be a federal election pre or post budget next year. Well, I 